Okay, today we're here to talk about 15 and 20 amp receptacles, or 15 and 20 amp plugs, and the difference in between them. So stick around to find out. How to wire a new residential construction. So this is your standard 15 amp receptacle. It's got your neutral on your one side, your hot on the other side, or your live conductor, and your ground on the bottom. Sometimes you'll see them mounted like this, and other times you'll see them mounted like this. These receptacles are good for 15 amps and 15 amps only. However, the wire feeding the receptacle and the breaker protecting it, the breaker is only good for 80%. So the breaker is only good for 12 and a half amps. If you take 12 and a half, 12 and a half amps, and you multiply it by 120 volt, that only works out to 1500 watts. So technically by code, a 120 volt, 15 amp receptacle is only good for 1500 watts. Even though you might think it's good for 1800, the maximum amperage or current draw that can be supplied off of this receptacle is 12 and a half amps. Now just a couple quick pointers about this. You see these usually mounted like this in residential and then in commercial or industrial you'll see them mounted like this. They're a little heavier due to your plug and the reason that the ground is mounted upside down, food for thought, a lot of people don't know this, is because in a commercial or industrial setting if something is dropped on the receptacle it hits the ground first which there's no current in that and protects it from hitting the hot and the neutral. Don't ask me why they want the receptacles like this in residential, it's just been practiced for years. So on to the 20 amp receptacle. 20 amp receptacle is what we call a T-slot 20. So it has a T on one side so that it can accept a 20 amp device or a 20 amp appliance. A 20 amp receptacle, 20 amps at 120 volts would be 2400 watts, but remember that's the maximum. So it's only good for 80% of that, which is 1920 watts. So, you, so whether the question or not of whether the 15 is better or the 20 is better, obviously the 20 is better. Now, most residential and low-end commercial homes, or sorry, most residential and low-end commercial properties don't take the time to run the 20 amp receptacles because of the cost, the wires more, the breakers more, yada, yada, yada. So you'll see a lot of the 15 amp receptacles. When you have a heavier load, you can run individual 15 amp receptacles. On a kitchen counter in a home, you're going to see 20 amp receptacles. We recommend that anything you do with a heavy load, like a table saw, air compressor, that you don't try it on a 15 amp, you try it on a 20, or you have a 20 amp heavy duty receptacle run. So I hope this helped you guys understand a little bit better between 15 amp and 20 amp and what they can actually incur or what they can provide for a load of power. Anyway, just a short video today. Hope you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.